watching Let's Chat. If you haven't been to one of the new places in Hickson yet, let me suggest you go. It's California Tortilla. They're right on 153. Devious and Charlie are here, and these gentlemen are the owners and operators Hello. of California Tortilla. <laughs> Welcome to town. Welcome back to our studios. You have brought a tremendous spread. Tell me what we're going to do. Well, we're going to be making some tacos. Uh, first, we're going to make fresh guacamole. Fresh guacamole. Yep. Always Charlie's good. Charlie's going to demonstrate that as to how it's done and everything. And so. I'll tell you, I saw you guys with a huge bowl of avocados just a moment ago, and now we're one step closer. So, yeah. gentlemen, yeah. take it away. Tell me well, why we're going to help. Guacamole. So we get number one has avocados, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, the best avocado you can buy. Right. And then we uh, kind of cut it in half and then take the peat out. Mm -hmm. Which, for years, I thought you needed to peel an avocado, and it took a restaurant pro to show me, no, you don't have to, <laughs> to peel, peel it. There so are we easier ways to get it to out. the good yes. stuff. That's all it is. Just scoop it out. Right. And you make guacamole fresh in-house every day. Every Absolutely. Day. We have no freezer, so we make everything in-house fresh. All the sauces are made in-house. Mm -hmm. You know, so. All right. Now then, you just mash that up. And while he's mashing this up, I'll tell you, you see all the hot sauces that we have on display on the set here. They've got dozens and dozens more, so you have your own wall of flame, flame wall, so flame. to speak. Right. You can season your food to however hot or however mild that best fits your taste preference. And then we add onions. Mm -hmm. Onions are always good. Onions yep. and a tomato. Now, Devious, what are you doing down there? You're plating up something that looks good. Right. Well, I am working on creating three of our tacos. Mm -hmm. One of them is a carnitas for a day taco. Then we have a Korean barbecue and sunset taco, which takes a fresh uh, avocado on it and all, all right. that. So we're just So after it. adding onions and tomatoes, then we add our guac seasoning. A little guac seasoning. And I, then can, just I can do something to help here. Yeah, so then you just mix it up, up and basically. Wow, and that's all there is that, to that, 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 it. Yeah, making guacamole is a lot easier than what you would think. I mean, just it a is. few key ingredients, give it a good mix, and you're ready to go. All right, so then we usually we'll go with this one on mm -hmm. top. Of uh, you forgot the most important part, though. What? Tasting it. Tasting it. When we make it, we have to taste it. Well, sure, I can do that right there here. You go. Watch this. I can Your do this. Right there. Oh no, I'm. I, I'm <laughs> Got to do this all natural. How does it taste? That is delicious, and it is perfectly seasoned. Perfectly. Mm-hmm. More perfectly seasoned. How many items do you guys have on the menu, roughly? Oh. We have our core items. We have burritos, tacos, nachos, mm -hmm. quesadilla. Uh, but we have where you would see all sorts of different ingredients that you can mix and match, make it your own. Create your own, you Create your right. own stuff on it and everything. So. Which a lot of people prefer to do. Yes. Because everyone's taste is just a little, a little bit, bit different. different. Yeah. They may take, you know, one of our favorites on the menu mm -hmm. and then customize it to their palate. Yeah, so. sure. And if you're one of these folks that know how you like your burrito or your taco or what have you. Branch out a little bit. Add something on that maybe you haven't tried in a while or you've never tried at all. Right. right. Adding right. a little sriracha on onto oh, the tacos. Korean here, right? So Korean. this is uh, we make this. Uh, this is what's called carnitas verde. Mm -hmm. We got pork, uh, enchilada sauce, uh, cheese, pickled onions, and tortilla strips and guacamole, fresh guacamole. And, all right. and one of these you said is the Korean. Yeah, Korean the barbecue. Middle one middle. is the Korean barbecue. How do you do that? Okay, we make Korean barbecue sauce in-house, mm -hmm. you know, and then what we do with grilled chicken, then we put our mesquite marinade on it. Then we'll put some fresh veggies. We, you know, yes. saute some fiesta veggies. Right. And then put that on top, and then we finish it with the jicama slaw, uh, with a touch of sriracha, sriracha and cilantro on top. And again, you can put any of these sauces. Yes. I think you said you have, what, 75 Seven, total? To 75, 75 different hot sauces. And th these hot sauces, some of them are not hot, some of them will take 
the roof off your mouth. Yes. So you got to kind of work around that right. and right. figure out the one that works best for you. Right. So we when we have a wall of flame that has a label on each one as mm -hmm. to how how hot it is. It starts right. at one and goes to ten plus. That kind of guides you into it as to see you know what you may want to try. Sure. All right. Give us the particulars. Tell us where you're located. Fifty two fifteen Highway one fifty three. Uh, right there by Hamill Road in 153, where uh, Mike's Taverns, Plus Watch, Orange Theory, right. we're in the same complex. Right across from the CVS nice. Pharmacy, one of yes. the landmarks in that area. Yep. Call them at 602-8226. Again, 602-8226. And the website, CaliforniaTortilla.com.